All right, so I've gotten a few comments about uh, magnets on oil filters. Here's my old uh, Wix filter that I cut open a while back. I um, just want to show you, as you can see along this edge here, right there, um, there, 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 the four marks. That's where I put my neonadium magnets on. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, well, it won't capture anything. Um, it looks like it does. It's not very much, but it's something that I wouldn't want going through my motor. So uh, neonadium magnets do work. Um, these are just the standard Walmart style uh, neonadium uh, magnets you can find in the craft section. So, uh, but that's uh, definite proof that it does catch it. And I took the magnets off before I cut it open, so it doesn't didn't uh, pull the mag the metal from the uh, filter. So, um, also being a defective filter, uh, point something out here. It ripped right along the upper edge there. So. People say, yeah, frames break apart, you know. Well, if you get a defective Wix, it does the same thing. So, um, you know, there it ripped right there too as well. So, I'm just kind of wondering how much of the fiber went through my motor. So, but that, once again, that's the uh, broken Wix filter. Uh, it was defective. I'm, I'm to continue to give Wix a try uh, since they seem like a better quality than Fram, obviously. Uh, as I said on my, my other videos, I, I would take a Fram and fl flip it out about... Yeah, 2,000 miles or so, just because they are cheap filters and it was something that I could do uh, in between oil, oil, oil swaps. So, um, but anyways, that's that. I'll be doing some more videos on uh, some of these things here, uh, War Machine and uh, Iron Man later on today. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys.